Good morning everyone, Crazy Fish Farmer here. Um, I got emailed a, a really neat invention that was uh, reported in the French Journal uh, in 1888. Uh, a man by Yarrow, um, can't quite pronounce his last name, but we're just going to call him Yarrow, um, created a boat that run like a steam engine, but instead of using steam from water, he actually used a closed system that basically boiled gasoline, turned it to vapor, like steam, in, in, in a compression chamber, and run a three-cylinder motor on it. Wow, that is just so cool. Um, I just, this was emailed to me um, by, by one of my subscribers, and I, I just had to share it with you. But the invention, I mean, is just really incredible. It's basically a, a three-cylinder uh, steam engine that uses the gasoline. Uh, it's, he actually pressurized the tank with a little uh, foot pump. Then the gasoline went into a chamber where a little bit of the gas is used as a burner, like as in, you know, like a, a stove burner or a, um, just, just a little type burner inside the chamber. And then a series of coils up through that chamber that would heat up and basically turn that gas to vapor. And then that vapor would power that three cylinder engine. And then after it was done power and that went through an, through another pipe which was in, the, in these diagrams looks like it was kind of under the boat in the water to cool it back down to turn it back to a liquid form. And then just reuse that gasoline over and over again. The only gas that's actually being used is a little bit of gas that actually burns or uh, runs that burner. Wow, what an incredible concept. Talking about stretching the uh, the gas dollar. I mean, this is just uh, really neat to me because it, it acts like um, like an AC unit. You know, Freon. You, know, you got your hot and cold side. One side turns to vapor and the other side comes back to liquid. Well, I also got an email once before that saying back in back in these days that's actually one of the first um, AC units was using gas by turning it to vapor it goes cold and that's actually how they started cooling things was with gas but but this is just incredible I just, like I said I just had to share it with everybody um, and you can you can go to my website crazyfishfarmer.com I, I posted a link up there instead of trying to tell you the long link where this is actually at it, it was easier just to throw it up on the website uh, so go to crazyfishfarmer.com over the top you'll see the link and also a blog that I'm putting together which I'm still working on um, but go to crazyfishfarmer.com you can get this this document and print it out and, it, and it's just it's really neat what this guy created um, back then and and what's so funny about it is he actually if I get the story straight, he created this back in, in those days, uh, they required a licensed steam engine controller. So this was a way to get away from that licensed steam engine controller because it actually wasn't a steam engine as they knew it back then. And this was basically turning gas and fueling that steam engine. It was still a steam engine, but not like a boiler as in um, you know these big giant boilers that you see at Old Farm Day and stuff like that. But but I I don't know a lot about steam engines, but I want to um, because that's this is a whole new idea. I mean this is just pretty incredible to me. But anyhow, go to crazyfishfarmer.com and, and and definitely download this and look at it. Uh, it's just incredible. The the whole concept of um, using that gasoline, turning it to vapor, and then reusing the gasoline. Just, uh, it's pretty neat. So there you go. Enough of that. Um, 
I just I had to share this with everybody. I haven't been able to do any work out here. We've been rained on for the past couple days, and then I've been uh, on the road trying to pay the bills. But uh, but there you go. Go to crazyfishfarmer.com and and click on that link up at the top and check it out. Well, we'll see you next time.